on Mob TV. This is about Lagos State, and there is no story that Lagos State houses about 17 million plus people. <laughs> it's the smallest state, um, I think, with the smallest, yes, it's the smallest state, invariably in Nigeria, and um, and is densely populated because it's become the hub of business, entertainment, whatever you think, business like, hub of everything. Everybody in Lagos is serious going to nowhere. A lot of people and the ones that are serious going to somewhere their life is more like a hustle they wake <laughs> 3 a.m at times they wake by 3 a.m to come back by 11 p.m what a life what a life you know but the hustle must continue and the puzzle you know they still enjoy it somehow somehow you know the amount lifestyle and the <laughs> bread in the morning with akara and coke it's a food in Lagos in that biggest mall enjoys that stuff. So yes, this state that is densely populated and it seems that Okada and Keke, that's Marwa, has been a very great means of navigating, you know, up to a point that even the there is Uber for cars and also there is Uber for Okada that is called All Right. Yeah. Now this Uber for Okada is quite they are, they have their helmet well secured and all that. That's to help you move faster in Lagos. You book it online. You know, but now the new governor has um his excellency Saul had come to shut down the Okada business, both local and tush, both posh and all right. Anything Okada is banned and tricycle, which is um Tricycle, which is Keke Napep, Keke Marua, also had been banned by this governor. And Lagos is like, Mado! <laughs> I don't know who thought to me that. Like, everything is so, so, like, on fire. In the sense that people are now tricking from one. You know how Lagos is, right? Conjection and all that. So, what people are saying that, okay, these Okadas and, um, and um, Keke Marua, they are causing a lot of hold up. And people are saying, no, we cannot live without all this. And there's been so much clash between the Molo drivers and the ex Okada and ex tricycle riders. You know, they are ex now. <laughs> because I was saying, there's nothing that is going to make him bring them back. That they are banned and banned. He's not going back on that. The people of Lagos and the riders are not even taking it easy. The female riders are not taking it easy. So it is a means of survival to some people. And this, guy, this governor had come to call it short. So what do you think about that? But moving forward now, oh, trust Nigerians. We have a way of inventing and solving issues. Country suffering and smiling, according to Uncle Fela. Now this is Nigeria where we always bring up new things on board now horses we are let loose from wherever they are <laughs> i never knew we had that number of horses in lagos and they're on the street of lagos taking people from one place to another from point a to point b but it seems that this these horses they are too sh they are these horses are jebo one actually fainted <laughs> you know watching all this movie you see a horse go travel like four hours three hours they're going from one kingdom to another that is what we thought our perception of our houses we didn't even know that we have our divorces in lagos that could just faint look, look, just look at the video Now the horse has been, been dragged from the ear to stand up and move. A means of transportation um, that um, they're trying to bring up to, but it's not working. I don't know how what you think. Do you think that this guy should call back? That's the governor should call back Uncle Sasa. Should call back um, Okada and Keke, or do you think the sanity or the of of Lagos right now? But also note that he has released new buses about sixty-eight, as to be corrected, of new buses for, like commuter buses to. Um, convey people at, but that's not going to be enough so what do you think whatever you think just put down in the comment section below because you are the people in lagos if you are living in lagos please tell us how your experience has been since the okada and kk ride ban has what do you think how have you been coping do you think is moving forward you guys can actually cope or is this something that should last forever what whatever you think just put down in the comment section below and uh, my name is donald and this is mob tv look at yourself bye for now Lord have mercy on me. Mob TV.